Pompe disease is a progressive and potentially life-threatening genetic neuromuscular disorder. When symptoms present in individuals one year of age and older, the disease is most often referred to as late-onset Pompe disease, or LOPD. LOPD is characterized by progressive weakness in the trunk and proximal muscles, as well as the group of muscles surrounding the pelvis. This may affect a person's mobility, making it difficult to walk, climb stairs, stand up from a chair, and reach overhead. Weakness in the diaphragm and other respiratory muscles also cause progressive respiratory disease. Since LOPD presents as a spectrum of symptoms that can mimic other neuromuscular disorders, a diagnosis can often be delayed and difficult. One of the visible symptoms of LOPD is a recognizable walk or myopathic gait, which is characterized by its waddle-like appearance. The following videos were created using motion capture technology of actual patients diagnosed with LOPD. Some patients with Pompe disease may be more severely affected or have a longer disease duration. Brian is a 44-year-old man with LOPD. His gait abnormalities are caused by weakness in his proximal muscles and pelvic girdle. Notice his unsteady gait, slower pace, and shorter than average stride length. Brian has difficulty stabilizing his pelvis as he walks, causing him to shift his weight onto one leg as his pelvis drops on one side and comes up on the other, reflecting a waddling gait characteristic of Pompe disease. He also positions his hips forward and curves his back inward to maintain balance. As Brian turns to walk in the opposite direction, he shuffles both feet slowly because it is difficult to maintain balance on one foot. This is Susan, a 50-year-old woman who has LOPD and is more severely affected by the disease. Weakness in her proximal muscles and pelvic girdle caused Susan to have an unsteady gait, typical of a person with LOPD. Susan compensates for her lack of pelvic support by shifting onto the weight-bearing leg as her pelvis drops on one side and comes up on the other. This waddle-like motion contributes to her slower pace and shorter-than-average stride length. She also positions her hips forward, causing her to have hyperlordosis, or an exaggerated inward curving of her lower back. Susan also compensates for decreased stability by shuffling her feet and has difficulty pivoting to walk in the opposite direction. This is Karen an 18-year-old woman with LOPD. Some patients with Pompe disease may be less severely affected or have experienced a shorter disease duration when assessed. Karen's gait abnormalities may not be as recognizable as other patients with LOPD, although you may notice a pelvic tilt, a lack of foot flexion and extension, and a bit of unsteadiness with a limp. The limp is caused by compensation for unsteadiness in her hips as a result of pelvic and proximal muscle weakness, Karen attempts to maintain her balance by shifting toward her weight-bearing leg and dropping her hips with each stride. She also turns slowly and deliberately to walk in the opposite direction. Robert is a 28-year-old man with LOPD. Based on Robert's walk, he appears to be visibly healthy and asymptomatic. Though subtle, you may notice that his left leg is stronger than the right. You may see him push off more with his left leg and swing the right leg through. Some patients may be less severely affected or have experienced a shorter disease duration when assessed. So it's important to consider other symptoms, such as general muscle weakness, exercise intolerance, or shortness of breath. If you notice any of these gait characteristics in your patients, consider a GAA enzyme assay or genetic testing to test for Pompe disease.